In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to look at the decision-making process in order to create a cohesive story from imperfect material. Most of us don't have the luxury of being in a production environment where we can endlessly reshoot scenes or re-record components. Much of what we deal with is very imperfect when we come to editing. What kind of choices can we make to take what is imperfect and tell a great story. I'd like to give you some tips on that in this particular tutorial. Please look at the following example and then we'll show you some of the decisions you can make to create something like this. So I'm going to start out by going into my templates and that's where I'm going to get the genesis of my project. Now, In my templates I have a category called technology. So that's where I'm going to find what I want in this particular video. So we're going to move through the options we have here and I have one that says the secret universe it has a planet Earth on it. I'm going to take it and double click on it We'll start to play it in the preview screen. That will work, so I'll double click. It will begin to load in my template designer. Now I could do some initial editing inside the template designer, but I'm going to choose not to. I prefer just to edit on the timeline like always. So I'll click on Add to Timeline and it will put it there. And what I see I have is I have an initial track, a cool video on track one. I have a title on track two and on track three. I have a particle on track four. When I click on that, you see it's outlined. And then I have some audio. I don't like the audio, so I'll replace it later. I'll delete it right now. And I really don't want the particle, so I'll take that and remove that. And the titles, I normally would press the F2 function key and edit them. But for the sake of saving some time here, I'm simply going to do that and get back to the video with the titles re-edited. Now, one of the things I noticed that they did in this particular template is they shortened the video. You notice it has these green boxes on the left side. So I'm going to click on it and click on Edit. And I want to go to the one which gives me my video speed control. When I click on that, it opens up the video speed designer. You notice the original length was 10 seconds. They speed it up to 8. Let's say I want it close to the original, so I'll go back to 10, press 10, and then press OK. And so now I have that changed. Now let's see what it looks like in terms of pace when I come up with my title and my second title. We'll play this comes in one way and then I have the new animation for protocol. Now when protocol finally comes into the screen I want the audio to change. So right here I'm going to set in a marker right here. I'll click on OK. So this is where I want my music to change. Now I'm going to change the music so I go to my media room and let's go to the background music meta. That's where I'm going to select my music. And in Meta, I'm going to use one called Go for the Abyss. I'm going to do a search in the top. I'll just type in Go for, press Enter. And here's the one I want. I'll take and drag it down to this track. What I want it to do is I want it to really bounce up right here at the timeline marker. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to shorten it. I'm going to eyeball it in this case. We'll click right about here. And we'll split it, delete this part, leave the gap, and we'll move it over and see if we're close. A little bit behind here. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do then is extend it back to the beginning so we have the music.
and let's play it and see if it works. Let's see if our timing is right. It's a little bit, little bit late, so we'll trim it again. See if this works better. That works pretty good. Okay, so now I have my intro. Now I'm going to change it in order to add some of my major transition into my first scene. So I'm going to go back to my media room and I'm going to go to stock media. And here in the stock media, there are a couple of things that I want to pull down to use in this particular intro. One is a clip of a woman in a dark place. It's going to be somewhat dramatic. This one here. And the other is going to be a clip of a wheel spinning the car because she's going to be threatened by an approaching vehicle. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure that the color coding in these is similar. So I highlight both of them and then click on color match. Then on color match, I need the reference. It's going to be the first one and the target is the wheels. I click on match color on the left side and I can make some other adjustments if I want. I'll just go with the defaults, drag down to the bottom and click on apply. I matched the color. Now one of the things I want to do is break this up so that we alternate between the scenes of the woman and scenes of the approaching tire. So the easiest way to do that, I have my set by here as seconds. I'll show you how to change it. You right click, click on your seek by and click on second. That's what I've done here. So every time I press the period key, it will go one second. I'll do two seconds and split it. And then I'll go one second and split it. And we'll alternate a little bit. I could do this manually if I wanted. I'll split it again. And go back and split it here one more time. That's good enough. And now I want to do the same thing with the wheels, but I've got a problem. Because if I play the clip, you'll see the problem. The car actually isn't moving. <laughs> uh, so we need to change this a bit. So what I want to do is magnify by 50% my, my screen here. And we're going to edit this. I'll double click. And then we're going to go into position, size, and flip. I think I even want it smaller. Let's go down to 25. And what I want to do is enlarge this so we have more of the wheel and less of before and after. I think that's pretty good. Okay, and I want to make sure it, we eliminate any frames where the wheel, here it shows it's not moving. Now we have the smoke heavy, so I'll split it there. And we'll go back to the beginning and we'll play this segment here. Let's, let's enlarge it again back to normal size. And we want to make sure we can't tell that the vehicle is not moving. That's pretty good. I think it works. So again, we'll split this one too. We'll go back to the beginning with a home key and do double period again in two seconds and split it. And then we'll move again and again. And let's do another two seconds. And then we'll do a couple shorter ones here. We'll do that. Yeah, that's good right there. Now, what I want to do is intersperse these with these. The easiest way to do that is switch from the timeline view by pressing the tab key. And that will take me right over to my storyboard view. So I take this one and I'll drag it after the first scene of the gal. And we'll move it over here and move the next one over. It's very easy to do when you go into this mode. And we'll take one here. And then we'll take one here for the end and then press tab key back. There we go. Now I'm going to take all of these. And we'll move them over to the left. I want to add a transition, go to my transitions room. And I'm going to take a simple one. And I'm going to take the simple 12, drop it down. It's too long, so I'll click on my clock above the timeline. And I'll change it from 4, type in 2, press Enter, and it's shorter. So that's what I have so far. Let's just look a little bit at 
what happens here after our title ends. We have our transition coming up. One thing I want to add, I want to add a little more noise to the vehicle to make it more ominous. So I need to go back into my media room. I'm going to go to sound effects. I have a sound effect that is called car driving. And car driving one is the one I want. We'll start it just a little bit into the first video before you actually see the car. You're going to hear the car. But when I play it, it's not going to be quite what I'm looking for. So I'll get to the home key. We'll play it. You can start to hear it here. I think I'm going to even cut off the first part of it. And then move it back a bit. But I want to change it. So with that selected, I'm going to click on Edit. We'll go to our audio editor. And I want to go to my equalizer. Let's take our lower tones. I want to make this more gravelly sound. We'll raise these up. Let's preview it. That's good. That's a little more ominous. Okay, then I'll click on apply. Click on OK. I'm also going to take that audio track and widen it a bit so I can see what's going on. And then what I want to do is increase the volume, hold the control key down, and we'll change the keyframes for the audio. We'll raise it up so it gets very dramatic here and stays that way. Okay. The, the last thing I want to do is play the whole thing. Let's give ourselves some more room. Enlarge it. Let's see what we get when we try the whole thing. This is one of the ways in which you can help understand the kind of decisions and choices you can make to tell a better cohesive story, even if you don't have perfect material in CyberLink PowerDirector.